Thank you for joining us this evening. The unexpected announcement of the closure of the Georgia Pacific Cellulose plant in Perry came as a shock to all of us. I visited with Georgia Pacific just a little over a month ago, and there was no mention of a possible closure. Not only that, but I was not given any notice to support you, my constituents. I feel like I've been stabbed in the back by Georgia Pacific. This came as a complete surprise. They have never mentioned to us any loss of profit or global problems in their industry. My congressional district and Taylor County welcomed them with open arms. My office obtained a multi-million dollar grant to upgrade a short line railroad to their factory, just finished two years ago. Now, thousands of families are left jobless in the immediate wake of a major hurricane that caused catastrophic damage to their homes and communities. Georgia Pacific claims the facility was struggling, and yet they never reached out to federal, state, or local officials for guidance or help. We might have been able to help. I want all of you to know that I will be watching Coke Industries and Georgia Pacific closely to guarantee that they actively support their employees and their families. I expect access to job training resources, food banks, and extended health benefits, pay, and severance pay. They must be held accountable for letting down so many families. I also would like to thank Governor DeSantis for his help in requesting support for these employees and for ensuring plenty of job resources are available. Additionally, I would like to thank the Ag Commissioner, Wilton Simpson, CFO, Jimmy Petronas, Florida Senator, Corey Simon, and Florida House Representative, Jason Schoaf, for the joint effort to support Taylor County. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Florida is resilient. We come together and pull through when faced with adversity. And I know we will once again get through this together. Thank you and may God bless you.